Welcome to this room where we learn science. Come in, sit down, and listen so we can learn, please. You say, hey, who is this guy who thinks he's Bill Nye? Well, this guy so fly is going to show a little science that'll make your brains fry. Welcome to your home, it's called the solar system. Here around the sun, all things are just circling. Eight planets total, let's look and see. Four inner, four outer, it seems to me. Being closer to the sun makes you warm. Your revolution is fast like bees in a swarm. Made out of rock, no rings and few moons. These planets so small should be watching cartoons. Past the belt of Astrodor, you could call them space rocks. The gas one's so big, they'll knock off your socks. It's colder and colder the further you get. Don't forget, they have more rings than a queen and many moons to be seen. The Earth, your home, revolves around the sun. It takes one year for this to be done. While revolving, the Earth is rotating on an axis to the maxis. This only takes a day. Daylight comes when... Turn to the sun and nighttime follows when facing away. The tilt of this axis gives us seasons. A tilt toward is just called summer. A tilt away, you guessed it, winter. When the moon is involved and gets in the way, the sun is blocked. Solar eclipse, we would say. When the earth does the blocking and the sunlight stops walking, it misses the moon and the lunar eclipse comes through. The earth that you live on is layers galore. Each different layer we seek to explore. The atmosphere is just air. The hydrosphere is just water. The lithosphere is the land until you get down hotter. Exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere to start. Stratosphere and troposphere keep space and earth apart. The crust is the thin bit of rock up on top. The mantle's mantle rock where the heat does not stop. The outer core and inner core are way down in the center. So deep and dark and hot, you'll never want to enter. Back up on the top, the crust and in. In the troposphere, the weather takes its place in this region here. We use some helpful tools to better prepare. We also watch patterns of change in the air. For air pressure, we'd watch a barometer and humidity. We'd watch a hygrometer. Wind picking up. Look at your anemometer and temperature we know is on the thermometer. Now the earth you see it's changing, broken down and building, constructive adds to the earth, destructive breaks it down. Weathering breaks rock, erosion makes them flock, and dumps them. We call that deposition. The first two are destructive. The last one is constructive. Some more are earthquakes, making mountains and volcanoes. Constructive, these volcanoes shoot lava, which then cools. Cooled magma becomes igneous. Of this, we are no fools. When rock gets broken up, yes, weathering does this work. First, bigger rocks and smaller rocks, we call it sediment. Please pack it all together for sedimentary. Then apply some heat and pressure. Metamorphic, you will see. What makes these rocks all up? Why, minerals, of course. They're inorganic pieces applied underneath much force. If in weird shapes they grow, then crystals they bestow. If where those crystals be, it's a gem that you can see. The streak is powder left when scratched against a rock. And luster can metallic be or be metallic knock. The break is one of two things, a fracture or you cleave. It is determined by the rough or straight lines that you leave. In soil, you have hummus with organic stuff inside. Top soil, you can call it if you do not mind. For underneath the subsoil with less organic stuff, the deeper down the more rocks found far deeper underground. All things on earth are resources we use and then we lose. Unless, of course, those resources are called renewable. These are the things we use again and don't fear their demise. While sources we can lose must be used just the wise. We use our R's to live real smart. Reduce is less for me. Reuse the same thing or again recycle responsibly. Now you know how it goes. Review this stuff and it will pay. We are hoping for all straight A's.